static force problem. And um, we're looking for that force. So again, we need the direction and the magnitude. And so let's get started with that. Um, I would quite often just start with a quick little diagram of our situation. We're told that one of them is 2.5 microcoulombs. Um, again, microcoulombs are the units that we're going to run into most often here with dealing with coulombs. And over here, we have a negative... 4.3 microcoulombs. We're told that we're three centimeters apart and uh, one positive, one negative. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that they're going to attract. So we know that the electrostatic force in this case is an attractive force. And so um, we could say direction check, um, now off to the magnitude. And the magnitude in a case like this, we would pull out Coulomb's law. And uh, at this point, perhaps going to your formula sheet to grab it. After doing a bunch of these questions, you'll probably no longer need your formula sheet, but probably do at this point. Uh, our K, remember, is 9 times 10 to the 9. And we have Newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. And here we have the first one, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6 Coulombs. Uh, so I just converted it from microcoulombs into Coulombs by adding a 10 to the negative 6. And negative 4.3 times 10 to the minus 6 Coulombs. Same thing. Now, uh, putting a negative in there, uh, it's up to you. Some people like to keep track of the positives and negatives and stuff like that. And, and again, when you're dealing with forces, positives and negatives are just about direction, right? And so we already know it's an attractive force. So I would typically not even bother put that negative in because I know in the end, um, I can just look at it and say it's an attractive force, so I can include that with my answer. Uh, but it's up to you. It depends on what your preference is for keeping track of things. Um, on the bottom, we have to convert that to meters. And so we would say 0 0.03 meters, and that's all squared. Okay, and you've got it laid out and plugging it into your calculator. And again, I would use that EE button if you have it for all the uh, times 10 to the, to the uh, situations there. And if you calculate that out, I come up with 107 or so Newtons. And uh, let's double check. Uh, coulombs cancel with coulombs and coulombs. Meters squared cancel with meters, which is going to be squared. Um, and so we end up with Newtons, check. Uh, from a sig fig point of view, we should be looking at two sig figs in the answer. So let's make that 110 Newtons. And we're done. So the only other thing that we could add here for a complete answer is the direction. So towards each other. All right, so we have the magnitude and the direction, and we have a complete answer here.